Hello once again everybody, I'm Jake Lucci and welcome to my video coaching newsletter. The title of today's video coaching newsletter is How to Hold Club Coaches Accountable. I have a quote I wrote on this topic and then I'll get into some points that I want to make about how you can hold club coaches accountable to make sure that they are doing what they need to do in order to best help you get in front of the right college coaches so you can earn a college scholarship. The quote says, a prospect playing for a club or summer team is a very important decision. The reputation of the club, along with what their process is for helping their prospects earn attention from college coaches, is crucial. Oftentimes, club coaches and organizations are not held accountable for the promises that they make about helping families earn the attention of college coaches. Many times, the focus is on how many tournaments a team wins how much money is collected from each family, and what they can do to persuade prospects to use their facilities. This is not to say that these are the motivators for all club and summer teams, but it is something parents and prospects should be aware of. College recruiting process takes time and effort. Simply playing in big tournaments or attending one-off showcases do not lead to guaranteed results. Across all sports, parents need to be asking questions to the club coach and the organization such as, what are you doing to help my child be seen by college coaches? Simple enough, right? How many coaches have you reached out to on my child's behalf? Who runs the social media accounts of your organization? And lastly, can I talk with other parents that have played for your club and hear their input? Too often, parents and prospects are never seen or heard of simply because promises are made by clubs and organizations that simply aren't kept. When a kid has no scholarship offers, excuses are made that the kid just didn't play well enough or still has a ways to go to play at the college level. These are easy excuses for coaches and leaders of organizations to make, but the real issue is the same. The family has paid thousands of dollars for a chance to earn a college scholarship, but instead, they played in a bunch of games, got some experience, but they were not put in front of the right people. This is a sad story and one that happens all too often. Taking the college recruiting process seriously is critical, and clubs and organizations that don't take it seriously are not the ones that get hurt in the end. It's the parent and the prospect. Those are the people that get hurt. Ask questions, be direct, tell them what's on your mind. Hold them accountable to do the job that they promised to do. After all, your son or daughter only gets one chance at this college recruiting process. So be sure to make it count. Now, there's a lot in there. And what you're feeling and that passion that you're feeling is simply because I've seen it happen time and time again. So many times, college programs are looking at the top tier organizations, that's true. But at the same time, they also realize that there is talent to be found in not just the top organizations, there's talent to be found everywhere. And so you'll hear me become so passionate about this because so many clubs are taking advantage of prospects and kids simply based on what they've done in the past rather than what their game plan or their strategy is to help that kid and that prospect earn what they deserve. And so this is why professional athletes hire agents. This is why professional ce or celebrities, not professional celebrities, but celebrities hire people that are gonna help negotiate on their behalf. Now, club coaches and organizations, yes, their job is to run teams. But what we're seeing in the industry is so many of these clubs and organizations are charging an additional fee to do the college recruiting side and what we're seeing is simply disappointment. We're seeing clubs that are taking the lazy approach and saying, well, if we go to the right tournaments and this kid has a good game, then maybe they'll get exposure. The thing is the college recruiting process, I would know, it takes a lot of work. So getting back to the questions, parents, ask these questions. Prospects, ask these questions. What do you have to lose? The thing is, is if you don't ask these questions and if you don't hold these club coaches and these organizations accountable, you're gonna be the one that's left at the end of this journey not having what you want. And just like I said in the quote, a lot of times these club coaches and these organizations, again, not all of them, I'm not trying to attack 
organizations. What I'm trying to do is bring awareness to the parent and the prospect and also these clubs and organizations that if you're going to make promises to a family that has done everything that they can to put themselves in a position to succeed, to put themselves in a position where their kid can earn a college scholarship, you better make do on that promise. And if you don't, the only one that ends up getting hurt is the kid. So all the time these organizations say, well, I'm in it for the kid, I want the kid to develop, and we love our parents. Well, if you did, then you would be doing what you need to do as an organization to help promote your players, okay? It is a lot of work, yes, but is it worth it in the end to put the work in so that that kid can have a better life and a better future? Absolutely. So parents, ask these questions. What are you doing to help my child be seen by college coaches? If they look at you like, well, we're playing in this tournament, in this tournament, in this tournament, challenge them on that. Ask them, say, no, 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 I'm asking, what are you doing as the coach to help my kid get a chance at the next level? Now, a lot of times if they give you that look of, well, I don't really know, then that's your answer right there. That means they're not really doing anything. Second question, how many coaches have you reached out to on my child's behalf? So many times, Kids get wrapped up in the fact that they're playing games, they're hitting 350, they're doing what they need to do on the soccer field and track and field and all types of sports. And yet at the end of the process, they're left with nothing. They're left with a, well, you should have just played better. That doesn't help anyone. That doesn't do anything for anyone. So what coaches have you reached out to? If the, if the summer coach comes back and says, I hadn't reached out to anyone, you better be asking some questions. Hold these guys accountable. Hold these women accountable, okay? It makes sense to ask the right questions. Again, if you don't, you as the parent and you as the prospect are gonna be the ones that end up getting hurt. So what I'm saying is I am encouraging all parents and prospects and organizations, don't take the easy road on this thing. Don't just think that if you have a good tournament that a college coach is gonna see you. The thing is I see it all the time. Kids get left in the dust, they fall through the cracks, and they're extremely talented. And that decision that they make on where they go to school and who they're going to spend the next two or four years with and what coach they're gonna play for will impact them the rest of their life. It is the most important decision that a young athlete can make, aside from if he wants to jump from high school to the professional level. Most of the time, kids are going from high school to college. Take it seriously. Understand that as the parent and the prospect, you have the leverage. Don't let these clubs or these organizations feed you a line of you know what. Hold them accountable, ask the right questions, and if you don't get the answers that you wanna hear, give me a call. Talk to LPG, call our offices, talk to another recruiting company, I don't care. But don't sit there and do nothing and sign with an organization just because they have a nice name or they have cool uniforms. Don't do that. You're the one that's gonna be the one that ends up getting hurt in the long run. Third question, who runs the social media accounts of the organization? I'd be interested to see that. Well, we all have individual social media accounts. Okay, how much of the videos that you're making are helping my son or my daughter? Okay, ask the right questions. And again, if they look at you like, well, we kind of do social media every now and then, you're missing the boat. If you're not active on social media on a daily basis as a prospect, you're missing the boat. Because you know who is active? College coaches. College coaches, right, right now, as it stands, we are in September, end of September in 2020 right now. The dead period for Division I coaches has been extended to next year. Through January 1st, Division I coaches cannot recruit in person. They can't even have contact with kids, but you know what they can do? They can do what you're doing right now. They can use digital. They can use their phones. They can use anything they want to on the internet in order to communicate and to get the best information on a kid. So what I'm telling you all is please take it seriously. The situation that you're in right now, if you are a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior in high school, ask the right questions. And if you get that look of, well, we're not really doing anything, probably time to find either a different organization or someone like LPG, myself, our company that can get in your corner and to help you get 
what you want. With that said, I thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm sure you guys are fired up right now. You're going to go start talking to some coaches and say, hey, I need some answers. Listen, don't attack your summer coaches. Don't attack your club coaches. We all want the same thing. We want the kid to earn a college scholarship to be able to live the life that he or she wants to live. We want the parent to have to spend the least amount of money so that way they can help send their kid to college and hopefully have some left over for the rest of the siblings. Or if mom and dad are at the retirement age, let them go vacation. I don't want them spending $100,000 on an education. College prices are continuing to do this, all right? So if there's an out and if there's a strategy and a way that you can hold these, these guys and these girls accountable as coaches and organizations, do it. It's worth it. It's worth it to have that uncomfortable conversation if it results in them doing what they need to do to help you get a college scholarship, to help you get the exposure. All right, I'm done now. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video coaching newsletter. Please go on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, make sure that you like this page because I love what I do so much. I seriously do. I love my kids. I love my prospects. I don't have any kids personally, but I love my kids that are prospects. And I seriously have never been more fired up at the opportunities that I have to help kids earn college scholarships. If you made it this far in this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure that you educate yourself on this college recruiting process. With that said, thanks so much. I'm Jake Lucci, and we'll talk to you soon.